Oh, what's going on? Why, why did I? Why did I just slow down all of a sudden? Mm. Oh yeah, so a return a rotund midget is down here. Me have trouble thinking too. What we talk about? Dunna. <laughs> I go back to work now. Man, brothers, brothers of the soil. We we brothers from another mother's. Ah. Uh, but I'm more than happy to to accept accept like corrupt uh, accept like accusations of corruptions when there's evidence backing it up, not just pure McCarthyism. Like it's drastic. It's ri so ridiculous. I don't. Ah, but that's me ranting about those politics. Like, yeah, no, I don't care. I don't care for what she had to say. Uh, I do want to point out about, like, I do want to talk about this one crazy guy who, like, who was, like, yelling at the line outside with a megaphone. He was just like, oh, you're all our baby killers. Ah. Uh, oh, and I tried to open up the locker, and he, he starts shooting, and then I'm like, "All right, I'll shoot you right back, my friend." He say that I'm not gonna go down without a fight. You don't do that. Uh, oh shit, I'm the big boss dog, and I didn't feel like the shotgun was necessary for him. I believe I go with a machete. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. Oh, oh, good lord. Oh goodness me. Great balls of fire. And do I have enough to swing at him? No. I am my turn. It's your move, Yugi. Oh, well, no, it's not. I tricked you, Gretch. Gretch the rotund midget. This is like just Danny DeVito with a gun. Danny DeVito with a gun. Is this Frank? <laughs> is this Frank? He's like, get out of my stash, rum him. My, get out of my horse stash. <laughs> I'll, I'll have them all folded up like a Matryoshka doll in this box. You open up one, you open up all of them. Target's out of range, eh? Well, it's too late for that. Lee looks severely wounded. I'd look pretty wounded too if I was macheted like three times. There's no recovering from that. Like, you're gonna have some super scars. Super scars! Super scars! I don't... I don't know what that was about. I was just trying to do super freak. I missed this time. Ow! Ow! You're shooting me with your rather lackluster gun that's weaker than my swings. Than my swing outside the in my old backyard that I used to have. Before, you know, I outgrew it. It was one of those that was like plastic. It was like banana shaped. It, it, was, an, it was an interesting thing, at least to me when I was a kid. And you know what? It still fascinates me because it had like this, these blue plastic rubber tubes that covered up the chains so that like your skin wouldn't get pinched. Of course, like even though that was like plastic and what have you, the slide was just metal, like metal, and it it stung on the hot days, on hot days with the sun. With the Utah ass sun. And in case you're wondering, when you're in Utah, all that heat comes from the uh, comes from like majority global warming. It's just like, no, nah, we're going to concentrate all that heat, all the sunlight heat, down into this area. An ice chest. What's in the ice chest? Ah, oh, it's ice. No, it's full of chunks of organs and body parts. And you're just like, oh shit. Oh damn, dude. Ah. Man, I miss that old that old uh, playground set. That old playground set, like, it also had, like, a little white horse that you could, like, swing on. I didn't care for that as much because I felt like... Because it would, like, squash your crotch for a little bit. Like, I'm talking about... I'm talking fucking squash. Like, like you're a kid and your testicles... Somehow come out even more damaged. And that was when I was a kid when I barely even knew what testicles were. Uh. 
Oh, man. But yeah, I'm collecting all this shit. It's all going to be for naught. <laughs> I was going to tell you up front. I I'm going to end up having to reload because I'm afraid. I'm afraid for everything that this will do. Or this will do. Hoatsy cha cha And Mr. Mr. Doctor over here is going to freak out. And just run up, run down, run up, run down. Apparently that's a consistent thing with him. As far as once you get him into aggro range. Let me let me talk to Mr. Morbid. Uh, Morty. Let me talk to Mr. Morty. <laughs> oh. Have you seen that one comic where it's just like... I, where, that one shot where um, Morty and Summer are being taken to the... To the um, Galactic Federation of Ricks. And... You see in this background, this, this Rick Morty, this Ricky, oh my god, what if his name's Ricky, that'd be great, that would be great, if, or his name is like, is like Mort, Mork, <laughs> and my friend, and that, uh, that's my friend, this is Mort, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't question him, he, he don't bother us, but yeah, I reload, I gave up because I really wanted to sort of get to know him and I was also afraid that the building, that the uh, plot would stop if I killed him or what have you. There's a point to where I give up. There is. Just don't be messing with the doctor. Stop, idiot. What well, I tell ya. Yes, sir, Gertrude the Rotund. Yes, sir, Frank. You got hey, stop messing with the with the doctor stuff. I, I I flushed my clothes in the toilet. And you know I'm wondering like why can't I unlock this locker? Because like I I put so much into lock picking, and I feel like I don't I don't have any of it. I don't have any of those points anymore. I feel like I wasted my time with it. But it turns out you have to activate that ability. It's sort of like a it's sort of like when you go uh when you go super saiyan. You have to just you have to will it. You have to will yourself into a stronger power. It's it's not a 100% all the time thing. Man, what is this? Uh, there's a ad playing in the background of this. It's like Samsung US 1 Nearly invisible cord. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh boy, an invisible cord, my favorite. You know, my 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 setup is gonna look like a mess no matter no matter how many no matter how how programs change. It's gonna it's gonna all stay the same. It's all the same in the end. It doesn't even matter. Try so hard, you see. And I got so, so far. Oh, so far. Man. Alright, so I'm gonna weigh in on the... While, while I'm busy here, I'm going to uh, weigh in on the idea of... The whole, the whole controversy behind... Uh, behind Daddy of Five. He abuses his children. I am going to throw that out right now. It's completely... It's so transparent. Because he does it. That's that's what he does. And you know what his excuse is? He's like, oh, but we love each other. And it's just like, no. No. You do, I'm, I'm sure you do. To an extent. That doesn't mean you're not exploiting them. That doesn't mean you're not abusing them. People abuse the people they love all the time that's not an excuse that's not the way that this is supposed to work you can't just get away what once people say ah oh, well they love you so it's fine no I can't I can't why would you do that it makes no sense oh my god like hit him like I'll, I'll pull up his Twitter right now like Let's see, where is it? 
Oh my god, did he delete? Okay, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. It's right there. I forget that his, uh... Let's see. Founders issue public apology. Yeah! No! No! I'm not gonna apo apologize. You're gonna get your kids taken away because you deserve it. Because you're a monster to your children. Like, you are dramatically bad. And, 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 you know, it sucks. It sucks that your kids are getting taken away. It sucks that your family is falling apart. But, you brought this on your fucking self, dude. You brought this on yourself, on your family. There's no redemption. And, you know, you can be a fan of their videos. Like, I used a snippet of his video. I didn't know how bad it got. Uh, I saw a snippet it during, like, the snippet that I used was just something that I saw off of, like, uh, on Facebook. It was, like, a really brief summary, and I thought, that was really funny. I'm going to use it. I didn't know that it was this big, dramatic thing where this guy ends up just breaking his kids, mentally scarring them, just being a complete dickhole. <laughs> I keep trying to... Unlock the frickin' door to just annoy this guy. And I think I can do it. I'm, I always think I can do it. I'm, next time I play, I'm probably gonna, uh, I'm probably going to try abusing that some more. Now that I know that lock picking is, you just have to go Super Saiyan for it. Anyway, don't abuse your kids, otherwise they're, they're gonna be taken away. You dumb, dumb fool. And, and, you know, I know that it's his wife, too, so I'm not going to, to leave her out of it. You're both terrible people. And, you know, it sucks. It sucks that your kids are being taken away. But they're going to go to a better fucking place to where they can have a normal, stable childhood that doesn't involve your harassment. And once again, I'm not completely unsympathetic, but you need to learn how to manage your lifestyle. You can't rely on your kids, let alone abusing your kids for its entertainment. Otherwise, you just get uh, otherwise you just get Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is a good, good analogy for it. She's like, hey, you'll you'll end up fucking your kids over in the long run. You shouldn't do that. And yeah, I'm j I just give up, and I was like, ah, I might as well just exit out of this square. I might as well just head out of Junktown. Oh, wait! There's more fucking Junktown! I thought it was just that one area. I didn't know. How was I supposed to know that there was more? I mean, yeah, there was, like, that little tab thing. I mean, I just figured, like, that was just the way that it was designed, I suppose. I, I just imagined that it was as it is. And at this point of the game... I just break down. I get annoyed. So, I'm not exactly in my most merciful moves. Oh, but here's a new Can guy who looks an awful lot like Harrison Ford. And sounds a lot like him, too. Like a very young... Like, somewhere between the Han Solo... Something between Harrison Ford and George Clooney. Well, howdy. That's not how the Force works. That's not how the water works. Oh man, I, I loved his I loved his character in Force Awakens, oh my goodness. And you know, it was ballsy. It was ballsy what they did with him. Like, it's sad and you know, we saw it coming. Saw it coming. Harrison Ford is fucking sick of Star Wars. He's had it up to here with it. Even though he's like Hey, I love Star Wars. I can just play my my favorite character all the time. And nowadays, he's just like, Christ, it'll never end. Christ, it'll never end. Just kill me now. And, and, and it's just like, in the end, you know, I, I'm sad, but it gave the movie some, uh, but it gave the movie balls, like I said. And I'm sort of glad it happened. Now, how they'll fucking deal with Carrie Fisher in the third movie, at least. I know that she filmed all of her parts in Last Jedi, which is fine, which is good. But who knows what's going to happen. Will they just try to, uh, 
CG her into the into you know what that is probably what's going to happen cuz you know they had the gall to do it with Grand Moff Tarkin it's just like no why we, oh and here i go i'm just like hitting the button as hard as i can ooh okay that's a good trade i like it I like all these scorpion tails. Why Why is this a thing? Do they, like, put them up in... Oh, uh, uh, uh. Here I hesitate because I'm just like, why are these a lot of money? Oh, shit, it's buff out. And I give up the buff out. And I'm just like, oh, shit, do I have to do this? Do I have to hit that button 480 times? Then I'm like, oh, my God, I can use the... I can use a pad to type it out. Oh, thank you, thank you. I shouldn't have traded out that buff out. That that sucks. But don't worry, I'll get it back. You'll see. You'll see. 